division fight. Outstanding matchup of strikers. Any chance this thing hits the canvas tonight? I don't believe so. I think when you have two high-level strikers like you have in these two men, they're going to go to the center of the octagon, and it's going to be a kickboxing match. A kickboxing match that you would see in a ring. Tonight, you get to watch it inside of an octagon. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Oh, and he gets tagged. Beautiful combination there, and I'm not sure how many more of those power shots he can take, honestly. The night is almost over. If you keep getting hit with punches like this, you are going to sleep. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tucked to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Tybo class or something like that. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. DC, didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Oh, Chris boxing here. The right punch followed immediately up by a left. Nice job with that follow-up shot as well. Unable to connect with the right. Grips the body there. 15 seconds remain in the round. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was. DC, take us through the replays. Punch after punch. He landed him at will. He went right at his opponent, got in his face, and showed, this is my octagon. We are going to dance to the beat of my two. All right, here we go with round two. Round one, pretty good, not great, but some action on both sides. We can't always hope for fireworks, John. Yeah. Sometimes we gotta deal with the ebbs and flows of a fight. In round number one, you saw both guys have success. Let's see who really charges out ahead in the second round. Oh, single collar tie here. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, being active, keeping busy, doing great work. Oh, he's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. with the straight left hand. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind that educated jab. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relatives. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Wow, Ooh, big shot man. Just out of range with that right hook. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. Oh, he hurt it bad with the jab. And that one certainly found the target. What a fight so far. All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You gotta think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All 
All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets on. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as they start to approach the end of the fight. Well, I'm an identical twin. Two is better than one. You might as well double up on the jab. He did so effectively there. Doubling up on the jab, and you see his opponent. Oh! tonight, but he missed with that one. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Well, he's... Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. And misses the target. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Another shot lands upstairs. Oh, that shot over the top, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. They can think you're going low and come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. You ready? You ready? Go for it. Good stick. How about that shin? Oh, nice straight there. I guess that's the quickest way to the target, right? Just throw straight. Straight down is always better. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. Oh! oh! And just like that, the fight is over. It's over. It's over. <laughs> yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. So a strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliano has called a stop to this contest at 50 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by...